If you have been following us through this video series, you have now come to the point where we are ready to finish the inside of the socks. Here you see the right side out of one sock and here you see the other sock turned inside out. So we want to get rid of these long tails, but we can't just cut them close here for we will risk our work unraveling. So we will take a large yarn needle. We will thread it with the tail and we're going to come here. We'll put our hand into the sock. And you will want to carefully observe your stitches. And you will go with your needle following where this stitch goes underneath this one. Then you will come back up to the top. Then you can go following the stitch on this side. Observe how the stitches go so that you can go the same way. And come back to the edge. Slowly weave it in. You will push now through. And this last one, you want to leave a little loop. Don't pull your yarn all the way out. Leave a little loop. Push the needle through. It's going to tie it. And now we can cut this off. Should you need to repair your sock, you will be able to find this place and you will know exactly how to go back to open the toe to repair anything you need to repair. Now we go up the sock. There are no tails around the heel and the gusset. There are some around the collar work. We have two white tails. We go with this one on the bottom. We thread the yarn needle. Put one hand inside the sock. Carefully observe how the stitches go and follow their path. So you're in essence knitting with your sewing needle, following the path of other white stitches which you knitted when you worked. Do that for maybe three stitches or even four. And then maybe on the fourth one, don't pull all the way out. Leave this little loop, feed your needle through that loop and tighten gently. Then do it again, staying in the white field. Don't pull all the way out. Leave a little loop and feed your needle through it and tighten. One to connect, two to keep together, and three for good measure. So let's do one more. Leave the little loop, feed your needle through it. And now you can cut this off. When you wash your socks, remember this is pure wool. You don't want them to felt. You will want to preferably hand wash them. And you can always rub this a little bit with soap and it will start to felt in because this is pure wool. Okay, we have one more white tail. You thread the yarn needle and you put one hand inside and you stretch the work to see the path of the white stitches and then you feed your needle through and you follow those stitches 
Essentially, you're knitting them again with your sewing needle. And you will again do that for three or four stitches, depending how much tail you have. And then you will leave a little loop and feed your needle through that loop and tie once to connect two times to keep together three for good measure. Feed the needle through the loop. Tighten and cut off. Again, you are making your socks. You know where these are, these connection points. When you wash your socks every time with soap, felt them in a little bit. And within few washes, they will be felted in and fully secure. And the last one is the one on the cuff. This is like a little gap. You don't want to make this too tight. You will come here. Notice how I have the bridge of the stitch. See how I have the bridge of the stitch? I will go with the needle under the bridge of that stitch across the gap, hold this together, go back to this bridge. Very good, I have connected, now I have to create a stitch that will close this gap by following the path of the stitches here. The same way you did it for the tails, in the same way you're following the gap here. And you also feed your needle through the loop. I left a rather short tail, so I have to manage by making the loop and feeding the needle through it backwards. Sometimes even scooting the yarn out through the loop. I always, always like to do this three times. I like to say once to connect, two to keep together, and three for good measure. When you are teaching children to knit such little sayings, help them remember. So you can come up with your own sayings. Maybe teach some of the children in your life how to make this simple pair of socks. All right, this is ready to be trimmed off. And this sock is now neat inside and outside. I will turn it inside out. And now we can do the second sock and then we can wear them or gift them, enjoy them, have fun with them and wear them on the longest night of the year while they're new so that the Yule Cat will not take stuff away from you. It will know that you have been hardworking and not lazy in your days and ways. I'm gonna go and finish the second sock and you can as well. See you soon again in one of the future projects. <laughs>